Trailex here. Today we're in Guelph Lake. We're gonna do a little walking tour of the, uh, both campgrounds. As you can see behind me, that is part of the lake. We're actually at a campsite right now, which I will show you in the video. See you in a bit. Guelph Lake is located just outside the city of Guelph, off of Victoria Road. It is just over 1,600 hectares, making it the second largest of the GRCA parks. It is open year-round for hiking, and with the exception of camping, being from May 1st till October 15th. Guelph Lake also has two beaches, which all other GRCA parks only have one. Speaking of the beaches, this park is strictly non-motorized boats. Across from the beach is an amphitheater, which holds the famous Hillside Festival during summer. Moving on to the campground, there is a total of 292 campsites, with 183 sites being unserviced and 109 being serviced with hydro and water. Within the park, there are six trails, as you can see by the picture that's that you're viewing. Just outside the park is a nature center and a reservoir. All right, we're at the campground now. This one is uh, called Upper Parkside. It goes this way and actually goes in a loop, but we're gonna go this way and do the loop. This one does have flush toilets and showers, uh, as well as the other campground in uh, Guelph Lake. <laughs> there is open camping right here. Very open. I'd say more towards trailer camping. You can definitely tent camp here as well. But this is definitely more of an open concept if you like that. There's a little side road. Uh, lots of picnic tables on each on each site. Uh, fire pit. Some of these are definitely seasonal. Or sorry, seasonal camping, uh, and the other ones are nightly. So my guess is the deck ones are definitely seasonal. So you probably can't rent those but all the other ones are good for nightly. And here's another lane. And all the lanes actually meet up with the uh, public bathrooms. All right, we are at the bathrooms now for the first campground. There are six showers, and then on this side is the men's toilets, and the other side is the women's. And there's also more camping right here. This side is over, like over here is where we were walking, and it continues on all through this area. And it actually continues also over this way which we are going to go that way. There's actually a, a children's playground over here as well. All right, so here is the first laneway for this area. And these are actually all spots too. They're, they're uh, large, so yeah. So these ones are definitely the smaller ones where we were, and over here are the larger size ones. Lots of trees for privacy. There are actually several trails around uh, Guelph Lake as well. There's actually one right behind the playground here, which goes all the way to the gatehouse. And it also goes to the second campground if you follow it further. So picnic tables there, a bench, 
my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Scooter, and my mother. <laughs> yeah, this is the playground. And behind my mom is the trail. We're not going to go on that today, just because we're going to do more of a tour on the campground area. But it is uh, grass. It's a grass trail. Oh, yeah, this part also actually ends up where the fishing area is. Um, we didn't go that way today, though. But I can do another video another day. But yeah, it's all like that. A groomed trail. But yeah, we will head back this way. And we are on to the next area, which is group camping. So yeah, this also just goes in a loop. There's garbage disposable over here. And there's actually another laneway that way. Uh, it also does another loop of the campground. Or sorry, more campsites. The lake is actually right here. We will actually see that once we get closer. So the group camping area is called Driftwood. I believe that the group area is actually closed this summer for uh, due to COVID, so only the main parts are open. But I think you could definitely still picnic here, like it's a beautiful spot these ones. You'll see that your lakefront, <laughs> right when you get to the spot, is completely lakefront. I used to bring my lawn chair here last summer and just read my book here as well. Here in Laurel Creek were my definitely uh, go-to places for reading the book because it's very quiet and peaceful and the scenery is lovely. <laughs> Alright, so here's your first. It's actually the second, but that one over there is more seasonal, so uh, you can't really rent that one when it is open. <laughs> All right, so this is number 654 to the right. All right, on to the next site. Uh, again, group camping. There is also a vault toilet right there. Alright, we are at 652. And as I said, this one's definitely my favorite. I've never actually camped here, but this is my favorite spot to just relax and sit down. And it's great for fishing actually down here. So if you want to get out during the summer and go fishing, this is definitely a good spot for it. And I will turn around and give you the full view of the campsite. Oh wow. Okay, the water is actually very high because normally you can actually stand like down here. <laughs> Those two rocks right here are usually visible. Or sort of like you can stand on them without water. <laughs> Give you a view of the actual campsite. So it actually goes all the way over here. So the trees right there act as a borderline uh, dividing the sites. Lots of picnic tables, fire pit. The 
right, so we're done with the first campground and now we are actually going to the second one. Normally for driving or even walking, we'd go that way along the tree line there, but there's no campsites there. So we're actually, we are going to take a trail. It's a little bit of a shortcut and a nicer walk through the woods um, over to the second campground. So here we go. So this is again, another uh, grass groomed trail. Right, into the tree line area same trail so back there was grass and this one's more like a pine tree forest All right, I did notice uh, a few areas, there's a lot of root, like root sticking out. So if you're walking, just be very cautious, especially especially for children or seniors, or even biking. <laughs> you don't want to trip over that with a bicycle. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, be careful about the root sticking up so you don't trip. Alright, so here's a bench for uh, resting, and if you go this way, it actually goes to uh, the second campground, uh, the, I should say the second half of the second campground, which is actually where I like to camp, that's my favorite spot, and I will show you it when I go past it. But for now, we're actually, they just built this in a glass here, and it's kind of cool, uh, the trail's not fully done, it's not like fully there yet, but you are allowed to walk down here and it actually looks like there was an old campground here before um it's not in use now but there's definitely like um it looks like they're like the old sites so that's kind of cool yeah you know, it's just like filled in with, it's like not groomed or anything anymore but yeah there, i think at one time there definitely was like campsites here <laughs> All right, so this is kind of what I was talking about. There's like a tap in the middle here, nothing around it. <laughs> um, other than a trail that's not fully developed yet. And then if you look here, it kind of looks like an old open area, like for tents. And if you look over here, I don't know if you can see it through the bush. Maybe we'll just kind of walk over there for a second. There is a picnic table. And there's nothing here. Like, there's no sights, nothing. So yeah, there's like, like right there. Literally, like, nothing's here. It's just a picnic table. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, back to the trail. There's Avery. <laughs> But yeah, there's a few, maybe like two or three spots like that. But yeah, there, it's not in use for camping at all right now. Or at all, like in the last few years. Alright, so we're out. And so this is like the first half of the, the second campground. And this is definitely uh, for tents and trailers. I'd say it's more family oriented over here when the other one it is family oriented as well but I definitely see younger um, younger people there at the other one 
So these ones are definitely good for like trailer camping. Uh, they're long. Uh, the, these on this side, it actually backs on to the lake. And that goes actually all around there. And then there's also campsites on this side, which are more wide open. Definitely for trailers or tents too. There are definitely, if you're camping in a trailer though, there's definitely a few spots that are uh, really well, like, re uh, sorry, really well proportioned for like a trailer camping. And then there's like other ones that are kind of more round. So those would be probably better for like tents. Um, so I did book this one first last year. And it was, it was good. Uh, it got a little muddy though, so I actually ended up, ended up switching. But I will kind of show you it. It's definitely, again, okay for like trailers. So if you're in a trailer, this would be like definitely a good one. There's also one beside us. But yeah, this is like, you can see how long it was. <laughs> Uh, two picnic tables for most and then obviously a, a fire pit so I'll just kind of turn around and show you the distance so I'm like right at the back of the campsite and Avery's obviously at the road so you kind of get a better view and most of them along this part here are like that so that one was 245 the one that we were just at and we're gonna take you over here and this one is 239 and it actually has a round uh like a entry and exit uh driveway so you can just drive around which makes it easier for like putting a trailer in or a, a larger vehicle i will mention too right here like once you get past the little tree line there, your neighbors are like right there. <laughs> so it's very visible at the back. As you can see here, like there's little pathways. It's good for like, if you have a few families like that or friends, friend camping, I guess, or whatever. But yeah, it's very open near the back. <laughs> and the lake. It's right there. So we're actually coming up upon a second section of camping. It's all in the same campground, this area, but they're just called different things and uh, so different uh, sections. So again, the one that we were just in was Lookout Point. This one is Sandy Bay. And the road kind of like ends right down there. Um, there's like a little footpath over to the beach though and i will do that another day only because my phone's almost dead <laughs> but yeah i'll quickly show you here's the uh flush toilets and again all along here is all campsites so it's great if you are like a senior or with young children you're right near the bathroom so there's good and bad to that. <laughs> good, very available, like you could just walk across. Very convenient. Bad, on a bad day, you will smell that. <laughs> and like, you know, you don't want to wake up smelling sewage. <laughs> so it's, really it's a pick or choose type of situation there. <laughs> it, it smells really well. <laughs> yeah. But they are nice spots, uh, very open. They are very close to the road too, though. So all of them have a fire pit, picnic table, so it's like that. There is also a pavilion right there, and just around the corner, there's actually a playground, a second playground. So we will go over there. This bathroom, I will say, does include showers, um, private bathrooms, so instead of like one just for women or men, it's just private, like you, each door. Alright, so we are at the beach area. Uh, 
we there is actually like a section over that side across the bridge but we're gonna wait for another day for that um, just because it is a large area as well but yeah I'll give you a view here oh I will mention too there's two beaches here so this is actually the further one the second one and then there's actually a main beach, but again, we'll do that another day. But yeah, this is the second beach. This one I find is more quiet. Uh, a lot of families. Uh, you can do hibachi cooking here. There's also like a little sun shading area right here. So like a, a little gazebo, there's four of them. And there's actually boat launch over right here. So we will go this way. So just to give you a point of view, that is the bathroom where we just were. That's where we came from. And the beach. And we're actually gonna go this way. There is a tiny little parking area right here uh, for the park. There is actually uh, like where the boat launch area is, there's a good sized parking lot as well as grass parking right right here so that's the park my kids <laughs> so again this campground area the section is called sandy bay all right so we are now in the section called lake view which is down here this is a radio free zone we'll just check out the first campsite they're all similar So this one's like, I'd say a medium size. It goes a little bit further back, but uh, not too far. And picnic table, fire pit. Yeah, they're all, it goes in a loop. All right, we are at my favorite spot, number 270. I, again, this is lake view, the section. So, yeah this is where i camp all the time and i definitely am this year again so uh it's all grass it's a great spot to park a car right here two picnic tables it actually goes further back in you have shade with a tree yeah it's pretty flat to put a tent uh, also you can use a trailer i think you'd have to probably move the picnic tables though but yeah you could also use these bricks to sit on yeah <laughs> so yeah it goes around here you have lots of privacy there's a little pathway to the next one but it actually didn't bother me at all so lots of privacy with the trees and camp or it's the fire pit all right so i'll just give you an overall view of 270 this is my favorite Alright, uh, this will be the end of our video for today. I definitely will do a few more videos like of different sections of the park, but that's definitely done for today. My phone's actually about to die. Bye. So I'll, uh, this is where I'll say goodbye and out. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.